National parks are incredible places created to protect and enhance wildlife, natural beauty and cultural heritage. They provide access to wild spaces just like this that everyone can enjoy. Despite their protected status, with large areas of degraded habitat and declines in important species, we also know that national parks are not always the havens of biodiversity that they should and could be. At Campaign for National Parks, our vision is for nature-rich national parks for everyone. The way in which land is cared for is vitally important for this vision. And that's why, in this series, we're going to be bringing you stories from the incredible people who are working hard to bring our national parks back to life. We're in Dartmoor National Park, home to wide expanses of moorland and one of the most at-risk, carbon-rich ecosystems, peatland. Peatlands make up about 15% of land in national parks in England. They store around 3.2 billion tonnes of carbon in the UK alone. Without positive intervention, drying peatlands will end up as a net source of emissions rather than a carbon sink, making them a key ally in the fight against climate change. So, how can we restore a millennia-old ecosystem? I've been working in peatland environment for over 20 years, and so I've seen them in a degraded state, but I've also seen them when they're you know, functioning properly, they're live with wildlife, and I just love being out in the moors. Historically, you know, they've been drained, whether that was for peat cutting, it's been bombed, shelled and blown up. The landscape we're in at the moment uh, would have been um, very dry, so not a lot of water sitting in, uh, in the landscape. A lot of bare peat as well, so there's a lot of peat hag, peat faces. Um, and now that we're here and with the works that we're doing, we're seeing a lot more water now being um, held in the landscape, creating those right conditions for our stag, the mosses, to come back in and restore the, the, the peatland accordingly. When a peatland's functioning properly, it's this massive store of carbon, but when we drain them or you know burn them or whatever, that carbon gets released into the atmosphere. A thriving peatland ecosystem should have sphagnum mosses in it, cotton grass, um, bog ashvedel, little bits of heather, and then it should be having little pools of water in that environment that have got dragonflies and whirligigs in them and frogs. They should all be out here in this landscape. This is the plant that we're really, really interested in, in getting back. Uh, so this is called a sphagnum moss, and this is the peat building plant. It holds about 27 times its weight in, in water. And then if I just squeeze it, you can see how much more water comes out. Depending on the feature, so whether it's a, a ditch or a peat cutting, uh, we'll come along and block that erosion feature up. So using peat, we'll come along with the diggers, scrape a bit of vegetation off, put that in, create a little dam, create a little block, and that just holds the water there, enables the water table to rise again. I think it's changing people's mindsets. It's been one of the hardest things to do. This project's been running for over 20 years and it really is only just now beginning to get momentum. When I can see the success of our work, it's just amazing. You know, like I know what we're doing now is for the benefit of future generations. I might not see all the changes that happen, but knowing that I'm kick-starting, you know, habitat ecosystem restoration, doing something small here on Dartmoor for the you know the wider planet is just so rewarding for me. We're just coming together and doing something really physical, practical on the ground and seeing massive changes. This project is a shining example of landscape scale nature recovery. It shows that national parks can be an effective force for positive change. Even with the success of this project, we know that more needs to be done and that we need protected landscapes with more resources and powers to make nature-rich national parks a reality for everyone.